getting more and more healthy, and we're planning on playing uh, Lauren in singles and doubles on Wednesday. And um, like I said before, that certainly makes me a much better coach instantly. But uh, so far, we have had good practices. We have uh, played very, very well in singles, I think. Uh, however, our doubles play has been a little sporadic, a little too sporadic for my taste. So we have uh, done a lot of doubles work in the past few days, past week, really, to try to sharpen our play. Uh, the doubles part, although it only counts you know, one out of seven points, which percentage part there isn't that significant. It somehow has um, a certain tone to it in dual matches to where if you can win the doubles point, it really gives you a little bit of a momentum above and beyond the one seventh of a point. And we've always had that philosophy here and try to be a very good doubles team. So uh, we are going to continue to try to press on uh, the importance of playing good doubles to start off dual match as well. And I, I think we we have the players to be a very good doubles team, so hopefully some of the work we've done in the past few days can, can show itself on Wednesday when we play Central Florida. We, we have very, very talented players, and we are right now just trying to uh, get the chemistry right and um, get some of the movement stuff that we like to do down to time the crossing and play defense when appropriate, just, you know, those little things and dubs. It's going okay. When we, when we Place it up on Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll have a full arsenal of, of plays set, and, um, and hopefully, we can show it against Central Florida. Do you have questions for Coach? Obviously, you guys have we're going to face fairly high expectations um, this season. What's your philosophy as a coach on that? Do you embrace them? Do you do you try to deflect them? How do you deal with that? Well, it. Uh, sort of an unspoken thing every year here. We, we, uh, we always have high expectations. That's frankly why our players come to Florida. And most of our players are used to it even from the juniors. That's the best way to do it. Get players on board that are already used to high expectations both from themselves and externally. And I think we have that here too. Now we are never going to look at the rankings every week. And uh, gauge what kind of team we are based upon where we're ranked in the weekly ITA rankings. That would be the wrong way to do it. Uh, we would much rather prefer to look at our play and let our play dictate um, you know, our belief in ourselves. If we're playing good tennis, then we're on track. If we are ranked high but playing poorly, uh, then, then, then I don't, I'm not as happy. So. As far as expectations, we want them to have, our players to have high expectations, uh, you know, albeit realistic. And uh, this team is young. I mean, we, we have three freshmen who are all going to be uh, significant contributors for us. So there's going to be some growing pains at some point. But uh, hopefully the leadership at the top with some scarred veterans, sophomores, uh, will, will show the way. And, uh, but clearly, we have we know we have one of the better teams in the country. There's no shying away from that. And, uh, but like I said, the most important thing is that we continue to improve, that we continue to get more fit, and uh, that will lead to uh, you know, the ultimate goal down the road.